References. References are very important for artists because they can rapidly increase the quality of whatever we're creating. You know, whether it's drawings, whether it's paintings, whether it's uh, sculptings. But the problem is, you know, if you do a lot of projects like I do, for example, a daily quick sketch, um, I sometimes ask myself, you know, do you really need references for every single one of these projects, you know? To answer that question, I um, wanted to do a little experiment. We went to a website that can give us random animals. We've taken three animals, we sculpted them once without reference and once with reference to see, you know, which one looks better, it, how big the gap is between the quality. I think the results speak for themselves. Uh, I think they're they're very funny. <laughs> so here we have the randomizer um, website randomlist.com you can see we have we already have quite a few what is vicuna oh my god i've never heard that before well if i don't know the animal of course we're not gonna sculpt it three two one go martin well i don't know what a martin is panda that's the one i know i always have a trick for uh for you know bears or dogs or whatever to sculpt them um you know kind of adding like a little mouth like this is always fairly simple it has more weight at the bottom and at the top i actually have no idea but I think that's how I remember it. Look at him. Oh, look at him, how cute he is. <laughs> okay. I think they look fairly different to normal, like, brown bears, for example. But I think they somewhat have the same nose, which is sort of triangular. Put it to the side. Okay, that looks kind of weird. I think they're rounder. I think they have, like, small round ears, right? Like this. I like it so far. But it, I don't know if it looks like a like a panda. One thing that I that it seems like is, you know, it looks more like a like a stylized bear rather than like a realistic version which of course requires more attention to detail which i don't have so that's one of the problems this looks pretty good <laughs> but uh yeah uh, i'm i don't know if it's if it looks like a panda bear do they have whiskers i don't think so right they don't have like these small hairs that come out of their cheeks it's interesting that dogs i think also bears have this nose hole that opens up on the side i wonder if that has like a mechanism to it if that actually has like a functionality maybe they can sort of sense more because smell can enter the nose through the side too it's like surround smell <laughs> maybe so this is a <laughs> this is the first version without reference let's look at some references and see you know what it should look like oh well <laughs> i mean i think i was fairly fairly close Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. The nose looks actually very different compared to other bears. See how the nose sort of like, sort of um, pointing down a little bit and the nose shape is a little bit different. The mouth is also different. You can see this one's more straight. Mine is more like a dog, I guess you could say. Oh, and the ears. The, the ears are more round actually than I thought. And the shape of the head is also different. Okay, so I'm going to grab one, a reference from the front and one from the side. And then we're going to do the same with references. Little mouth right there. It needs to be longer a little bit and also needs to point down a little bit more. But the mouth is quite, quite straight like this. Goes to the side like this. So humans would have something more like, like this maybe. But pandas are special. They have them slightly upwards, rotated upwards like this. It makes it look kind of like he's bald at the top right now. And <laughs> So this looks already way better, way more like a panda than before. Maybe also just because I know now what they look like or mo know more what they look like. If you've ever seen a shaved blank bear, <laughs> they look more like dogs than bears or rats, even like big blank rats. You know, bears are basically just big rats, but with a lot of fur on them. Very furry rats, I guess. There you go. Oh my. He's so cute. <laughs> so this one's the one that we've created um, with reference. And then let's look, look, look at the previous one and see what, how, how much different they look. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So this one definitely looks like a bear, but it looks nothing like a panda. So, you know, at least I can, I can sculpt a, a somewhat good looking bear, I guess. Yeah, you can see the huge changes. And you can see without, I guess, studying pandas maybe and how what they look like. Who would know that pandas have like a like a tilted nose? I always thought they have like something like this. I couldn't really couldn't remember what the head shape looked like. But at least I got the I got the ears right. You know, the ears are supposed to be round, but they have a different shape. So like this, you know. <laughs> Next animal, which what will it be? Bumblebee. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. 
if I remember animal or if I remember um, insects correctly, they have three parts to them. They have the uh, middle chest piece, they have a head and then they have a, well, back part. Okay, so the chest I think is fairly small compared to the back, so I'm going to make it smaller. It's um, definitely bigger than the head, so I think this size might be pretty good. We need some more room down here for the legs. They're somewhere over here. They go outwards. And I think then they go inwards again, like this. Then they have like little feet at the bottom. There you go. <laughs> I think the legs don't actually go out like this, but well, that's how it is now. So yeah, it seems like, you know, with without reference, it's kind of hard to nail the, the big shapes, which is like one of the most important parts of somebody's, um, or of, of anything. Big shapes basically define whatever you're sculpting. And if you can't really, you know, define them confidently without reference, it gets really hard to make it look like whatever you're trying to sculpt. Of course, if you if you practice something a little bit more, you're gonna get better at um, sculpting whatever it, it is. But um, it's still hard. It's still hard to nail everything. So if you would do the same with, of course, faces or humans, it would be different. But then I guess it wouldn't really change much, much either because you, well, references can still help you, especially in like the smaller details. If you want to make like a realistic character, for example, I guess for stylized characters, you don't necessarily need reference because you can sort of design it yourself. Um, but I, you know, I can imagine it still being very useful. So that's uh, <laughs> my bumblebee without reference. As I said before, it kind of looks more like a, like a fly that ate a little bit too much. Bumblebee. Well, that's not what I meant, okay? <laughs> oh, there's one. It looks fairly different. <laughs> so I think the biggest difference is the legs. The legs look way different. Yeah, and the eyes are also way different. That's what I always thought about when I was sculpting it. I always thought about like, didn't humblebees, humblebees, bumblebees sort of look like they have like a hunchback so that they sort of, you know, were running around like this. I thought they their body is quite round, like a, you know, like a curve. But it's more that, that the head is so low. One thing I didn't, what I didn't expect is that the middle piece, so basically like the chest piece is the biggest part. I thought the back would be the biggest part. So there, there are always sort of um, things that you recognize or that you sort of keep in your head about a certain animal to kind of remember it. Um, but without seeing it, you couldn't, or at least I can't really remember em enough details to, I guess, you know, put it into the world <laughs> to 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 sculpt it look at this this already looks way better than before <laughs> even though we only have two two legs right now upwards forward downwards and then forward yeah that's good i never yeah i thought they only have three limbs or three parts to their legs but they apparently have four or maybe I, I thought about it differently, like a different structure, but it's definitely not. <laughs> I would never sculpt it like this. Here's the one with the reference. I like the legs a lot. They they have a different structure than I thought. Also the back leg, you know, looking at it from the top. Looks kind of like a bumblebee, you know. Let's look at the, uh, <laughs> the one without reference. I actually don't even remember what it looked like. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, go. Oh no, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Comparing that to reference. Oh my, that's a big difference. Let's see. Let's do one more. Let's see what we can get now. Three, two, one, go. A hippo. Oh, that's also cool. Hmm. Okay. I have an idea, but uh, it's pretty horrible. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to remember what uh, the hippo from Madagascar looks like, but I actually have no idea. <laughs> oh no. We have the eye here. So that's... Uh, something i guess they have big teeth so i want to add those too dude i have no idea maybe like this i'm just moving it around see what works that look oh that looks good that's good we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere okay i like the sort of dick shape that we have here in the middle i think that's sort of what they look like um, but something's not right about this A walrus <laughs> don't insult my hippo okay well this is my <laughs> this is my final hippopotamus okay without reference let's uh let's look at some reference <laughs> fallout animal yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> i think that's my look right now 
I mean, I'm somewhat close. I got the shape right. This little, uh, this dick shape. I think that's what I got right, but everything else is sort of very different. <laughs> Look at him. He doesn't, doesn't like being used as a reference. <laughs> He's sick, sick of being photographed. This one will have eyes at the end. I remember now. The bottom, the jaw is quite flat, actually, or the lips, I guess, are quite, quite thin. So that it's sort of actually like this, maybe? So you can actually not see the teeth. That's just interesting. I actually thought, I always, I think I always pictured them with their mouth open, and then you can, of course, see the teeth. I also thought they would be way bigger. Whoop. Great little uh, eyelashes here. So here's the one with reference. <laughs> with beautiful eyelashes. And then here's the one, I actually can't even remember what the first one looked like. I know that it looks nothing like this one. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, you know, I think, I think, um, I think radioactive fallout monster makes it <laughs> it's pretty, pretty good description for this one. <laughs> Comparing that to, to this one, I think there's a pretty big difference. Um, of course, practice can can help can can improve your capability of, of sculpting something just because you learn the basic shapes more. But especially when it comes to the details, like the nose position, stuff like that, you could maybe practice too. But you, you always, I guess, benefit from um, from references. The difference is the more you practice, the less you benefit from the big shapes. For example, like here, you can see the big shapes really really changed. The nose shape here, the face shape changes a lot now that I know what it actually looks like, you know? Um, I think stuff like that you can learn by doing it more and more and more with references, and then at some point you, you kind of know what the proportions are. But I think the big difference is that um, you might not benefit from the big shades, but you still benefit from the small details. You know, the more you practice something, the more, the less you benefit maybe from the reference, but you still benefit from it because you still can be confident about what you can scope, and you can spot small details that you might not remember in you know with your brain um way better doing it you know with references